Director of Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies, Tim Anderson, joins us now from Sydney. Mr. Anderson, welcome to the program. The Iranian president spoke of how uh, Bahrain and the UAE should be responsible for their actions. Do you think that there will be repercussions for regional security following these normalization deals? Yes, I think uh, in the Persian Gulf in particular, it's posing a particular challenge there. The idea that uh, the Zionist entity might have some military um, base there or footing there, and it's affected a lot of players in the region. But we should remember that from the point of view of the UAE and Bahrain, they were particularly vulnerable to pressure from the Trump administration because they had uh, reopened their relationships with Syria. Uh, contrary to what the Trump administration wanted through its Caesar Act. And so they were vulnerable to this sort of pressure from the Trump regime. There's a lot of talk of a precedent being set now for um, other Arab countries, specifically uh, Persian Gulf Arab countries now, to follow suit. Who's next, in your opinion? Well, I think those two, uh, the, the Emirates and Bahrain, because in December 2018 they had reopened their embassies in Damascus and had started to invest in the country were the first cabs off the rank. Now, I think this demonstrates to us that this is the, the role of the collaborator. The collaborator might think that if they're working to do the dirty work of the US, and let's remember the Emirates hosted Mossad assassination teams in Dubai in the past, they've been working with Israel for some time. But if they do that dirty work, they don't then have the freedom to go and um, pursue their own ambitions. For example, Trump has made that very plain that once the U.S. owns those little petro monarchies that they can push them around. So it's not beyond the, the bounds of the Trump regime to bring in some more of those um, Gulf uh, Persian Gulf monarchies into this project in the election year, as the Palestinian factions point out. It's a stunt for for Trump's election year. It hasn't really changed the balance of uh, resistance forces in the region. All right. Thanks a lot, Tim Anderson, joining us from Sydney.